Okay, everybody, let's see what's going on right now. Another live check first alert satellite radar. We will be seeing that first main line of initial showers this morning pushing towards that north and South Carolina border. Now really just making its way out of Fairfield, Kershaw and Lee counties, but still in its wake, leaving some damp roads. And uh, honestly, on the tail edge of this, trying to push it from the south again, another little just bits of some shower and storm activity trying to make its move up from the south. But I will also make the point for early this morning, likely only going to be hearing if you do a stray rumble of thunder or two. I'm not anticipating much in the way of anything of storms until we get further and further into this afternoon. We could see temperatures rise, so you don't have to fret about that, but still be careful out there. Stay weather aware. We got damp road conditions that are causing some issues. And with that, I do want to take you here live. We have been uh, tracking this through for you over the past 30 to 40 minutes. Bush River Road as we take the look of this exit as we get to I-26. All right, now this is getting towards Columbia. This is going off then towards Charleston. An accident has been reported this morning and we are really seeing this portion of I-26 getting backed up. Again, this is eastbound going towards the city. So make sure you are uh, being mindful if you're heading on I-26 soon. This could easily be causing some problems for you. As we get into more of these temperatures, mid 60s widespread through a lot of the region, Richland, Lexington counties between Columbia, Lexington, Irmo and Chapin, Little Mountain. Let's see uh, off towards the east. We've got Sumter at 64, Winsboro 63, Orangeburg toast year right now at 69 degrees down towards the south because they haven't seen much in the way of rain. Little cooling mechanism down that way, just focusing on more of the clouds and a southerly breeze to start this one. So as we go through, all these tidbits are tied together. Some rain, it can be heavy at times. We're seeing storm chances that could even linger in a very low capacity into Wednesday. But I have a lot of good news as we take this and fast forward it on into tomorrow and Thursday. I'll take you there, but right now we got to get through this morning. So we just see this consistent southerly breeze moisture being pushed up into South Carolina, so it's not going to be super organized, but we will still see at times some downpours in here, some little rumbles of thunder, and also as stated getting forward into this afternoon. I'm thinking enough convective potential temperatures just shy of 80. A few little hazy breaks of sun that can get us towards this. You know, even though it's going to be isolated, a few storms trying to bubble up again, a little stray patch of hail in a couple of spots uh, that can't be ruled out easily a few strikes of lightning so watch out for that later into this Tuesday commute homes for folks going out to dinner going to pick up some stuff from the store any uh, later errands into your Tuesday but Wednesday look at this this is all throughout the day you know it's much better the only thing we're going to see tomorrow is a couple little showers very much in the way of spotty I'm only going 30 percent for tomorrow it is going to be nice and easy so you can relax for your Wednesday still could see that little chance of a shower it's not completely ruled out but really looking much 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 better tomorrow and then Thursday looking mainly sunny. It is going to be an easy one two stretch there. We really need to get through this Tuesday first and foremost though because throughout this day it's just going to be those little rounds of scattered showers with storm potential better as those temperatures warm into the afternoon. So you could keep of course with you throughout the day that umbrella somewhere on standby the light rain jacket. Let's see this all as we work to those improvements into Wednesday and Thursday. If you had can, you know outdoor plans you could hold them off into Wednesday and Thursday. I would advise you to do so. Those days are going to be so much better as we work to see temperatures even take a little bit of a rise there back to the mid 80s. Then you could pivot back to being a bit more weather aware Friday and Saturday. Some shower and storm chances settling back into South Carolina. It's going to be a bit damp, a bit cloudy today. Let's all be safe out there and still make it a great day.